Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to talk about the question Iterative Pre-Order Traversal of a Binary Tree. In my other video, we looked at the recursive version of Pre-Order Traversal and today we are going to look at the Iterative version. Let's quickly recollect what Pre-Order Traversal is. Pre-Order Traversal is visit left and right. So what I'm saying is visit or print node first, then visit everything on the left side and then visit everything on the right side and do this recursively for every node. So for this binary tree, I'll say print 10 first, then print everything on the left side, so 11. Print everything on the left side of 11, so 15, then 12. Now everything on the left side of 10 is printed, so we go on the right side, so minus 20, 0, 16, and then 18, and then 9. So this is my pre-order traversal for this tree. In the recursive version, programming languages have the call stack which did most of the work for us. In the iterative version, we'll have to maintain our own stack. What is stack? Stack is last in, first out. So the element which goes last into the stack is first to come out. This is different from queue which is first in, first out. The element which goes first is the first to come out of the queue. So here I have my stack and let's see how this will work. So first I will put root of this tree into the stack. So 10 goes into the stack. I pop 10 out of the stack, I print it, and then I see if it has a right child, then I put that into the stack. And if it has a left child, I put that into the stack. Now I'll pop out from the stack. So 11 went in last, so it's first to come out. We print 11 first, and then we see if 11 is a right child, so it does. So we put that into the stack, and it has a left child, we put that into the stack. Now we again pop out from the stack, so 15 comes out, we print 15 first. 15 doesn't have a right child and F child, so it's fine. So we go to 12, 12 pops out, we print 12 first, again 12 doesn't have left or right child. So we again go to the stack and then pop out minus 20. Minus 20 has a right child, so 9 goes in first and then it has a left child, so 0 goes in first. So now we pop out 0 print 0 first, 0 has a right child 18 and 0 has a left child 16, so we push them into the stack. 16 comes out from the stack and 16 doesn't, we print 16, 16 doesn't have right and left child, so we pop out 18, 18 doesn't have right or left child, so we pop out 9, 9 doesn't have right or left child, so this, so now the stack is empty, we break out of the while loop, and this is my pre-order traversal. How much time would this algorithm take? Since we are visiting every node once, the time complexity for this algorithm will be O of n. How much space would this algorithm take? The space depends on the size of the stack. In worst case, the size of the stack will be O of h, where h is the height of the binary tree. And in worst case, the height of the binary tree can be O of n. Next, let's look at the code for iterative pre-order traversal. So this is the code for iterative version of pre-order traversal. Let's quickly look at the structure of the code. The name of the function is iterative pre-order. It takes in the root of the binary tree and it returns nothing since we are just printing the tree. If the root is null, we just return. Otherwise, we create a new stack, add root to the stack, and repeat the process while the stack is not empty. The process is popping the top of the stack, printing the data of the root. If it has a right, pushing that into the stack. If it has left, pushing that into the stack. Let's work with this example here. So 10 is my root, 10 is not null, so we create a new stack. We add 10 into the stack. Now stack is not empty, so we pop out, stack. We pop out the top of the stack, so root becomes 10. We pop it out from here. Uh, we print out 10, 10's right is not null, so we put 19 into the stack, 10's left is not null, so we put 5 into the stack. Now our stack is not empty, so root becomes stack stop, which is 5. We print out 5, 5's right is not null, so we put that into the stack, 5's left is not null, so we put that into the stack. So now again stack is not empty, so root is equal to s dot pop, so root becomes 2. We first print out 
2 here. 2's right is not null, so we put that into the stack. 2's left is null, so we don't add that. Again, we pop out from the top of the stack, so that's 8. First thing we do is we print 8. 8 doesn't have a right, 8 doesn't have a left. So again, we uh, go here, we again pop out from the stack. So that's 11. So root becomes 11. 11 doesn't have left or right. We print 11 first. 11 doesn't have left or right, so we leave as it is. We again pop from the stack, so that's 19. Uh, 19 has a right, so 6. And 19 also has a left. We also print 19. Now we pop out uh, from the, now the stack is still not empty, so root becomes uh, stack stop, so that's minus 2. And it's popped from here. Minus 2 doesn't have left or right. If we print minus 2, it doesn't have left or right. We again pop from the stack, so 6. 6 doesn't have left or right, and we print 6. So this is my pre order traversal 10, 5, 2, 8, 11, 19, minus 2, and 6. If you want the running code for this problem, go to my GitHub link, github.com, mission piece, interview wiki. And if you want to check out, check out similar questions, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user, Tushara2525. Thanks for watching this video.